channel i am happy to be one a beauty lifestyle fashion natural hair blogger so you are here because you want to hear me talk about all these lipsticks i'm about to declutter thank you if this is your first time here welcome 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 make sure you join the fan bam hit that subscribe button as well as hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time your girl drops a new video if this is not your first rodeo with your girl you know the deal welcome back booze and i'm so glad you're here to chill with me again so with all the pleasantries out the way we're gonna get right into this video um this i'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible i have this bag of lipsticks right here that i need to get rid of i just want to show y'all what i'm getting rid of because um i used to be a lipstick junkie and i figured out now i don't really like lipsticks that much that ain't my thing no more so pretty much eyeshadow palettes brow products as well as foundation those are my top three loves at this point so once i'm getting my collection dwindled down you're gonna be like dang I, I see you i see you that's why you're getting rid of all the other stuff so you can buy most stuff for the other three that you like you feel me so let's just go through this and yeah i'll probably talk about the ones that um i feel like i need to talk about and then the rest i'm just like whatever first one i have is by milan Milan, Milani, and this is the color Bronze Beauty. It's one of their lipsticks, and I'm just not feeling it. Um, I thought I liked those um, shimmer lipsticks, but it just don't do anything for me. Like I used to like um, shimmers years ago, but now I'm like, no, that ain't for you, boo. I figured out shimmers just ain't my thing. See, look at that. Got my lips looking all crazy. Nope. You gotta go. But one thing I do like about Milani's lipsticks is that they smell good. They smell like bubblegum or something. But I gotta get rid of that one. Um, the next one I have is by CoverGirl, and it's the Queen Collection. And it's in the color um, Duchess. And it's matte. And the only reason I'm getting rid of this one is because I have a million colors like this. And I just don't see the point in me keeping this one. I have a million. And these start to smell like makeup when they go bad. So I just felt like I need to get rid of it. So you got to go. The next lip product is by Wet n Wild. And this is the color Barely Legal. I really did like this lipstick. This was like one of my perfect nudes. But... It got old, so I had to get rid of it, but I'm gonna invest in another one of these, but this is a really, really good one. I don't even know if Wet n Wild makes this anymore. This is an OG, but this was like the perfect nude with chestnut lip liner, bomb. The next one I have is from Revlon, and it's the Ultra HD Lipstick in HD Petunia. And as y'all can see, it's just, it's just a pink lipstick. It's nothing special. I done got it all on there, and I didn't like that about the packaging. It just wasn't a well thought out product. The next one is from Absolute New York and it's the color Purple Heart. And y'all know purple is my favorite color of lipstick, but this one, I'm over it. As you can see how it comes off all patchy and it smells old, so time to go. The next one was a duo by Black Radiance. I don't even know the color because they have numbers and not names, but it was a little rosy pink um, lip gloss and then it was a, a mauve lipstick that went with it right there. And it's a pretty color. It's just, it got old and I just don't see the point. I just didn't feel the need for having it anymore. Here's the other one that I have the same thing by Black Radiance. And this is the color 5203. And it has more of a bronze look close to what's on my lips right now. Yeah, so it's really close to what's on my lips right now. And then it had a lip gloss that was close to it as well. You gotta go. Next thing I have is from Black Radiance, and this is the color 5112. And I think this is like African Violet. This is a bomb color. Like, I love this lipstick, but I'm at the point I'm tired of having to work with it and putting a lip liner with it all the time and blending. It's, it's a lot of work, but it's a very beautiful color, but it just gotta go. The next color is from Wet n Wild. It's Purdy Persimmons, and this is an orange color, and... 
I just felt like I didn't need this one anymore because I have quite a few other oranges. So I'm just letting it go. Next color I have is 5116. This is probably Tiger Lily. Um, I can't tell the name because it's off. And that was one thing about the packaging that I hated. And again, this is a color that's similar to what's on my lips, but it's more orange base. But when you buy Black Radiance, the name is on the packaging. And then when you tear it off, it just disappears. So you never really know the name. You just know the number. The next one I have, again, is from Milani. And this is Matte Orchid. It's a very pinky color. And I just felt like I didn't feel like dealing with this pink color. So it just got to go. Um, it was a nice color. It reminded me of Max Candy Yum Yum, but I'm like over it. This was a Wet n Wild Duo. I, I did a review on this, so maybe I'll find it and I'll attach it. But yeah, it was a pink side and a purple side. You put the purple on the outside and the pink on the inside and you do like a um, ombre look. Next one is from Revlon. It's the Just Bitten Kissable. And it's a bomb. It's a nude and I just didn't like it. Um, I got it really cheap from Big Lots. That's the only reason I had it, but it just didn't work for me. The next color is from, this looks like Makeup Forever. This is the Rouge Artist Intense number 15. And again, as y'all can see, your girl loves purple. But this had like a chrome look to it, a chrome finish. And I don't like that in the lipstick. I liked it when I bought it. This lipstick was probably like $20, but... Pfft. It's gone now. The next color I have is from Revlon, and this is Toast of New York. I thought this was going to be like a really pretty brown, nudie color, but as you can see, it's too red, and I tried to work with it, and I just couldn't, so bye-bye. Here's another nude from Wet n Wild. This is Peachy Keen. It's more of a peach-toned nude, but as you can see, it's, um, it's pretty... Um, yeah, it's pretty peachy, so I just didn't feel like working with it. It's a pretty color. It's just your girl don't feel like working with it. Next color is from, who is this? Black Radiance, and this is 5120, and this is another purple. <laughs> so you can see, like, look, I just love purples, but this one got old and again i have a million purple so it was just time to go this one is from revlon this is the revlon color burst lip butter and pink truffle and this is i got this back when um revlon pink these lipsticks the lip butters were bomb but this is a nice little finish it's just that it got old and i just don't see the need for having it i have other ones that can do a better job if not you know this is dj doll by wet and wild from the fergie line when they were doing their collaboration with fergie um it's an orange based lippy and i didn't like it because it wasn't consistent so you can see how it looks it's just not a it's not as orange as it could be you have to work with it and play with it and sometimes it's streaky ain't nobody got time for that but the fergie line was stripped and they're done with that they don't have a collaboration with her anymore i got all her stuff on clearance when it was at dollar tree yes even her palette this is java java another wet and wow and i tried to make this a nice nude is this color right here but it was just too much work trying to make it work and i just don't have time for like those pearlescent nudes that you got to do too much work with on dark skin. This is the Stirring Ulta Matte Lip Cream. And I wore this yesterday and I was like, you know what? I just hate it. It, it did nothing for me. It did not make me feel like I needed this in my life. It's this color right here. It's a, you're probably looking like, girl, that is a nice burgundy. It is, but it does not look the same on my lips. And I'm not into holding on to stuff that I don't like. Here's another Wet n Wild. This is Cherry Bomb. And the only reason I'm getting rid of this one is because I have a backup. And Cherry Bomb is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dark red. And Wet n Wild does a lot of dupes. Like, they have a lot of dupes for this. And I have other dupes um, that they've already made. So, I'm like, it was a no-brainer to throw away the old one and deal with the newer one. This is from Revlon 2. This is another one of the lip butters. And this is in Red Velvet. Again, I just don't feel the lip butters anymore. Look, and it's almost similar to that one. I mean, they're very pigmented, very creamy. It's just, 
I fell out of love with it. Yeah, I'm almost getting to the end, y'all. This is Espresso. This is a Ruby Kisses. And again, this is a brownie with the red undertone. And I just fell out of love with that one too. I just don't wear brown lipstick that much anymore. This is a lip pencil I got from NYX. Um, I thought I was gonna have more fun with this pencil, but again, I'm not into those shimmery chrome looking colors anymore that just looks so like this, like metallic, ugh. I don't know what I was thinking. You go through moods with your makeup. Last one is by NYX, High Voltage. Um, I, I, what color is this? It was like something like Dare or Wine, Wine and Dime. And I really wanted to love this, but that's it right there. It was just a regular burgundy color. Like it was nothing special about it. So, I mean, I'm done. I didn't get rid of all of those lipsticks and I feel so bad because I didn't waste a whole lot of my money. And I'm like, at this point in my life, when I buy makeup, I only buy stuff that I know I really want and I'm really going to use it. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at right now. And I'm just going to try to, as I move forward, because like the VIB sale is coming up, um, you know, Ulta going to come up. And then everybody else has their 20% off, 30% off. And then these holiday sets. Yeah, I'm not doing the most right now. I'm still a VIB Rouge at Sephora and I'm still a platinum at Ulta, but you know, moving into next year, that might change. Well, I'm still gonna be platinum for, I'm still gonna be VIB Rouge for next year as well, but we'll see how it goes. But I wanna thank you all for watching me declutter my money going down the drain. That was probably a good, eh, could have close to $100, but it's cool. Thank you all. Make sure you drop down any comments. Make sure you are subscribed and you already got that little bell hit so you can get notified when I drop a new video. Thanks for watching.